Good evening, Barbara. Hey, everybody. Hi. Happy Tuesday. Yep. Happy sunny Tuesday. Hey, just have a quick question. Are, are, are we meeting on Thursday? I hope so. Um, I didn't post it. Okay, I'm, well, then Thursday's, Thursday's clear. Uh -oh. What did you just decide I was away from the desk? I'm sorry, what, what Deborah? What did you just decide on Thursday? I was away from the desk. Uh, I I didn't post it. I missed oh, it. Oh, so that, that means no. 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 That means oh. our, our internet was so screwy today that I had to have the Xfinity guy and blah, 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 blah. It's anyway, so I missed it. So may we may we meet on next Tuesday? Yes, please. Let's, look. Let's just oh. take a look here. We probably we didn't actually call the meeting to order. I just a question. Oh, that's true. We should. We should. Um, but I'm, I'm good for next Tuesday. Hmm. I tried to turn on my video. It's not working. When you call the meeting to order, I'm here. I'll be right back. I will. All right. So uh, it is. <laughs> she disappears and a picture appears. Um, it Pretty it picture. is Tuesday, April the 4th, 6.34 p.m. And I believe we have a quorum. So present from the Finance Committee, Vanderslice, Spickmack and Tarmy, Warren, Zahora Sheehan, who else do we have here? Uh, Barbara Beatty, and actually a whole bunch of folks. Um, so Michelle Capano's here, Jake Canty is here, Allison is here, Tony is here, and um, Rob Thibault is here as well. Welcome everyone. And uh, 781-4006, I know that number. <laughs> that DV? That that would, <laughs> would be DV upstairs, yeah. All right, so anyway, so we are in, or uh, the meeting is in session, in order. Okay. Okay, so um, on our agenda tonight is we have one article remaining that we can we can vote on, which is the short, well, two actually, they kind of go together, the two short-term rental articles. And the others, the, the others, I think we have to wait a little bit till we can vote them. So the others are like the transfer snow and ice, prior year bills, and uh, the omnibus as well. We could vote the omnibus probably. So anyway, I, I I think we should just we should turn to short term rental. Okay. Article twenty four. So articles twenty four and uh, twenty five. So twenty twenty four is the selectman's article, and twenty five is the citizens petition article. Okay, I mean, I'm ready to speak a little bit about it. Um, I'm going to try to just, I've done a lot of research, read the articles and the uh, supporting regulation. And um, I'm kind of like already there in my mind, but I, I recognize and respect the committee as, as they try to work through the, uh, the differences and commonalities between these two articles. Um, so it seems like at this point, and maybe Mr. Canty can can fill us in as well as as uh, Mr. Barletta about uh, the main difference between the two. And there are a lot of differences, but the main one is the uh, special permit requirement for um, for non-owner occupied short-term rental houses. So um, the people that are supporting the citizen petition are at this point against it. And uh, the short-term rental committee that drafted the article and the <clears throat> associated regulations uh, has that in there. So, you know, I don't I can't speak for the electorate either, but in the town meeting, uh, it seems like it might be something the town can support as a special permit. And um, and actually, I think I think I'd like to actually make a, a motion to amend that. Um, I'm not quite sure if this is the right forum or the right place to do it, 
but um, we've, we talked about it in our last meeting and um, I'll just put it out there and see what you guys think. Um, quote, in all cases, special permits for short-term rentals shall expire four years after each date of issue. So last, last meeting we talked about three, three years and some of the feedback we got from the short-term rental committee was that, that that might cause a problem for the zoning board of appeals. So if you went to maybe four years, that'd give more time to stretch out um, uh, the application process. Right. Dana, I, I just, I wanna be clear. So your, your motion is to recommend article 24 with the addition of a four year expiration to, to the special permit. That's right, Bob. Um, and so I wanted to put it out there to the committee before we is, actually- it, Is there on. a second to that motion? Can you tell me again why that's necessary? <clears throat> um, if, Judy, good question now. So it gives the town and the, um, and the, the people of the town a chance to uh, review every four years the short-term rentals that just be, they would be the non-owner occupied um, rentals, not all of them. So right now we have about 48 of those operating in town. So some fraction of the 48 would uh, have to go through this. And <coughs> there has been some talk about a new license, but you know, we haven't seen that. We haven't seen the regulations yet. And this gives it more uh, authority if it's in the actual bylaw and the bylaw regulations. So I mean, again, I'm, I'm just sorry, Dan, and I'm trying to figure out what problem we're trying to solve. So this allows, with without this, then there is no once once they've gotten the authorization, they never have to come back. Correct. It's actually a life permit, and oh. it also is beyond that. So, it goes, wait, so let's just clear up Robert's rules of order here. We're, you, we do not have a second for this motion yet. Does anybody want to second this at least? For the purposes of discussion, I'll second I'll it for the purpose of for the discussion. Okay, fine. Off we go. Okay. So you were saying in that um, it goes, it's it's beyond life permit. It, it yeah. does because it's transferable. But Judy, there. I don't believe it is transferable. The special permit it sticks with it stays with the owner, um, yeah. and if the owner sells the property. That's it. it. It doesn't transfer with the property. Well, um, if I can, for that Julie, problem. Julie, my thanks for that. But if I can read right from the proposed regulations, it's in section 4.06a, short term rentals, in the first paragraph, it says, talking about the special permit, once issued, the special permit shall be exclusive to the applicant and shall not be transferable without written consent from the Board of Appeals, unless the transfer is between current spouses or where the original applicant transfer the special permit to a trust where at least one of the designation beneficiaries is a first degree relationship to the original applicant. So it can, can, can go to the next generation. So within the family, so like when I took over my family home, if my parents had a permit to operate this as a short-term rental, you're saying that the current, the way it's currently written, when I took over this house, they could that could be transferred to me. That's right. That sounds pretty permissive. I'd agree. You know, if I can make some other examples, right? We we have to renew our licenses to drive a car. We have to renew the registration to drive that car. Um, there are very few life permits, but, and especially this that has a lot of impact on the community, especially the housing in the, in the town. Um, I think it's not too much to ask that it be reevaluated every four years, especially for just the non-owner occupied, not, not the people that have a two family in the upstairs unit. They can, yeah, they can rent it out all they want. Um, so, all right, so that's kind of where I'm coming from. Dana, how'd you come up with four years? Um, Why we, four years? We talked about three years and there was some pushback on that. So we pushed it up to four. You know, uh, if people think 
in this committee think that they'd be more amenable to support it at say five years? You know, it makes sense too. So I, I spent some time talking to the planning board, to Wayne Wilson, who is the chair of the short-term rental committee and to Tony as well. Mm -hmm. and, and I must agree with the point that all three of those made, which is um, there is a license required to operate that renews, force renews annually. So that is that is really the enforcement mechanism and the, the regular review mechanism for them. And adding adding a renewal to the special permit to me just sounds like it's it's just extra work. Um, you know, we're, we're we're creating we're creating work for somebody to re renew all these things on whatever basis, whether it's three years or four years. Um, that's point number one. Point number two is I'm very concerned about what's going to happen on town meeting. And I think we need to have a, a united voice and a united front on this so that the, the, the town meeting doesn't get confused, right? I mean, right now we have two competing articles. And if we, the finance committee, propose something different, we now have you know three competing articles. And we may end up with nothing. So you know, as I'm very, now, Bob, very concerned about just you know letting whatever let, letting the perfect get in the way of the good. Yeah, you know those those are some good points, Bob. But um, have you seen this licensing requirement in the regulations? I have not. Well, here's the thing: why can't we? Why can't we pass something now? And if there's some something else comes up, we can amend at a later date, right? We're not stuck with this forever. Right. If something better comes along, this adds more clarity or more de definition. Yep. That is a good question, though. Is there going to be anything about licensing in the verbiage? Well, Does anyone the, license, the licensing body and the um, Special permit are, are different groups, right? Right. The, yes, the, so. Tony, you can help me here, but the t the special permit is through. It's the ZBA, right? The ZBA. Right. The permit comes from the town. Yeah, so, I can help you out a little bit. Um, all short-term renters, all short-term rentals would be required to get a license every single year. Uh, that is in the short-term rental committee proposal. Okay. Um, and I believe it's also in the citizen petition proposal. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. The, the difference is on the short-term rental committee proposal. If you are non-owner occupied, you also have to get a special permit through a ZBA process. So if you were non-owner occupied, You'd go for your special permit. You'd have your hearing. Um, if you get your permit, you then need to go and get a license every year thereafter. If you're non, uh, if you are owner occupied, you don't have to go to the ZBA. You just have to apply for your license every year. The regulations, the short-term rental committee, just like if you think of like a liquor license or any other licensing mechanism the licensing authority by our charter is uh its role is to develop rules and regulations by which you must abide by in order to attain that license so if you violate those regulations you are risking your ability to um, maintain your license or renew your license in an in an upcoming year <clears throat> Uh, the special permit is just, you have to kind of, it's hard to, it's, it's somewhat hard to do, um, but try to separate, you know, rules and regs and you, um, you know, a lot of the concerns that I think Dane is referring to um, and why he's, you know, suggesting, Dana, I don't mean to speak for you, but I've heard, I've heard similar comments. 
um, is you know some sort of uh, tool or mechanism for the town to be able to review that these Airbnbs are abiding by the rules and regulations. And if they aren't, there's a risk involved that they would no longer be able to operate. Well, that's what the short-term rental committee's recommendation does that, it just does it through the licensing. Well, actually both proposals do it through the licensing uh, board. Um, so if even if you receive a special permit, if you don't abide by the rules and regs and don't get your license, you can't operate. And Tony, who is the licensing board? What the board of selectmen. So can the board of selectmen change the licensing requirements? <clears throat> yep, they they are they're the licensing authority by our charter. So they have they have the mission, you know, their mission is to, or part of their role is to develop those rules and regs. So just like a liquor license, and right. entertainment license, um, a lot of things that you usually see in the commercial entities in town, every year they have to come before us for those licenses. And, and uh, you know, if, obviously if they have a bad record, um, you know, that's something that the Board of Selectmen have the power to review when they're deciding whether or not to renew a license. May a license be revoked midterm, midway through? For cause of obviously i believe i believe so suspended at minimum i would think um that would be a legal question but yeah i believe so so tony just a question uh you know i, I completely understand the licensing and all that but i don't see that in the bylaw changes nor in the regulations that are part of the warrant could you tell right. me where it is are you look? Are you are you looking, Dana? Are you looking at the short-term rental committee proposal, or are you looking at the citizen petition proposal? Uh, the the short-term rental committee proposal. Okay, so on that one, there's two documents that are attached to it. There's the zoning bylaw amendments, and then there's the general bylaw amendments. Right. And you, you'll find it in the general bylaw. <clears throat> I don't have it right in front of me. I see Rob Tibbo has his hand up. Oh, I'm sure Rob he can recite what page it's on. Rob, you, you may come off mute and yes. Uh, in in response to the question at hand, uh, there is no specific language in that respect. Uh, we're trying to maintain the flexibility of the board of selectmen to select the rules that they feel are most applicable rather than embed the rules in the uh, zoning bylaw, which would require a town meeting to change. Uh, and, you know, just as, a, as, a, as an example, uh, if we had a, a $500 application fee in there and we decided we wanted to change that to a thousand, it would take a town meeting vote to do it. Uh, so we're leaving that door open uh, as far as registration and enforcement. Uh, it all goes to the Board of Selectmen to decide on what these rules should look like and have the ability to change them as needed. So then I, I apologize then, Dana, uh, if it doesn't say it's a, an annual renewal in the general bylaw, I can say that that, that is the intent. <clears throat> I'm, right. I am, I'm almost sure that it's in the citizen petition one it may not be in the short-term rental committee though but where does well, the sorry go ahead i'm just sorry. wondering where do we see the general bylaws so that people can so we can make our decisions if, if we're voting on this it's it should be in the in the packet of information that um allison has shared with you it should okay. be in there it's also on the website okay so it's, it's not in the warrant itself obviously no so the Deb, Deborah, this is where, so when we have large uh, bylaw changes, we usually put a summary article in the warrant because the warrant is what is required to be distributed and gets posted in four places. So we try to keep the warrant uh, trimmed down, but it always will say the full text is available in the appendix and at the clerk's office and on our website. Um, Unfortunately, when it comes to a citizen's petition, we have to put 
exactly what was submitted to the clerk into the article. So right now in your previous versions or what you have currently, there's a summary article in there for the citizens petition. I just got the word document, the word version document of their citizens petition. And on tomorrow night, the selectmen will open and close a warrant and adjust that. So the full citizens petition has to be printed in the warrant by law. So unfortunately it's gonna be a long warrant regardless um, because we're gonna to have to put that entire article in there. But the short-term rental committee uh, article will remain as a summary article, just like the wildlife bylaw proposal article is, is in the same way too. Um, and you'd have to refer to the appendix to get the full language. Excellent. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. And you'll forward that Word document to me when, when it's once it's approved? Yes. Yep. As soon as they approve it tomorrow night, I'll send it to you guys. Thank you. It didn't, it didn't convert perfectly from PDF to Word. So I am you know, checking every single punctuation and number and letter to make sure that they're identical. So uh, the, that'll be done by tomorrow, you know, the Board of Selectmen will approve it tomorrow night and then it'll be sent to you guys. Thank you, Tony. And will that, Tony, will that document have the uh, reference to um, the one year annual requirement to renew their license? The citizen's petition, I think does say that. Well, I'm in the um, I'm in the bylaw section. I see clearly where it says the Hart Board of Selectmen shall have the authority to promulgate rules and regulations with regard to the short-term rental registration process. That shall include, but not limited to, the requirements of this article, uh, Article 19. So, um, Roman the, 19. Uh, yeah. So in the I was incorrect on the short-term rental committee proposal. It doesn't. I guess it doesn't say annually. No. Um, but that was the intent. I don't, you know, again, we can't change the language of it now. Uh, it could be changed on the floor, um, but, well, let me, let me reverse that. It would be very difficult to change it now. It is possible on the general bylaw side, um, but uh, I don't think you'd get any pushback from the selectmen and I don't wanna speak for Rob and the short-term rental committee, but. I don't think you get any pushback from them on the licensing being an annual process. Um, we, you know, that was the, that was always the intent. Right. And I just wanted to say a couple things about that. Um, basically we have a choice here. We can either have it in the bylaw and like every five years, you know, they have to do something. And then also have the selectmen have their regulations that, that they can create and change however they want, whenever they want. Um, so those are the kind of the choices that here, and we definitely respect all the work that the committee has done and, the, and Tony, the work you've done, the Board of Selectmen have done. This is a very difficult issue to balance all the constituencies around town. But uh, you know, I, I'd rather put my faith in a, uh, in a written law. I mean, it's just a backstop and if you have to do it every five years, I think the zoning board of appeals could handle that. And so couldn't the operators. And not only that, it doesn't apply to every single short-term rental, just those that are non-owner occupied. So well, if, if, I that's, think... if that's the concern, wouldn't, wouldn't a better approach be to uh, go into the general bylaws and specify it's an annually renewable license? Rather than rather than the, the three year uh, three five I don't know which one are we on three four or five but three, three four or five year plan yeah yeah and and just speaking on behalf of you know in my, just speaking on behalf of myself I think I we'd rather the administrative burden fall on you know town hall and the full time employees than on you know the volunteers at the ZBA. And, and we're going to be doing that, like I said, that, that's the intent that we would have an annual licensing requirement anyways. 
So it should it should cover the concerns I think you're raising, Dana, and it would apply to everybody, not just the non-owner occupied. That can still happen. It's not an either or question either, by the way. So both would be fine. Um, so the reason I said it would be really difficult to change is because the zoning elements of both articles, the short-term rental committee and the citizens petition triggered a planning board process, which they've already gone through, right? Uh, so, you know, you can't change a citizen's petition at all. And on the committee proposal, it was a previous town meeting that, you know, created that committee to develop a, a bylaw to be presented at town meeting. So they are the holders of the pen, so to speak. So you could theoretically amend the general bylaw portion of their article. It would be up to them to make that decision. And then the selectmen would approve it and add it into the warrant. Um, or it can be done as a town, a floor amendment at town meeting. Well, I guess the que the question before uh, Fincom at this point is, do we have sufficient data that we can support one or the other uh, of the two alternatives? We're kind of delving into adding a third alternative, and it seems that we're getting some uh, some bumps in the road to do so. Uh, my, my thought is, can we, in fact, take one of the, the two that's that, that's being offered and put our support behind it. As I've looked at the two of them, it, the, the one Delta is in fact the, uh, the, the fail safe, the double check on out of towners who are going to run an operation in town. And I'm in favor of that. That's a good thing. And that's what was come up with by the citizens that were given our backing to do so uh, by, by the committee that was founded by the uh, you know, volunteers to, to do that, and I think out of respect to them, Robbie, you, are you still with us? Uh, I'm here, Dan. Yeah, I, I, your folks have done a hell of a job, and I think out of respect for you, I'm ready to vote right now saying, yeah, you do the right thing. I'm in for it. So you have a motion on the floor. Yeah, about we have, we have a motion, exactly. We have a motion on the floor to recommend Article 24 with an amendment for a four-year expiration to the special permit. So I, I think we need to vote on that. And then depending on the, the outcome of that vote, then Dan, you may want to make a, a motion to, I assume, to recommend uh, Article 24 as it stands without mm -hmm. an amendment. May I ask a question? You certainly may. Um, have we asked, I think you implied that you had, have we asked the um, planning board what they think of the four or five year addition? Uh, I spoke to, well, I, I traded text messages with Rob and I, go, I don't think I asked that specifically, but Rob's message was, we approve it the way it stands now. And Michelle, maybe, are you still here, Michelle? I am. Have, have you, has, has the planning board discussed an expiration to the special permit at all? No. Here's the thing. We've, we've you know, in having been on a committee wow. where um, decisions have been questioned. I want to be really careful about that. The committee was was um, was convened. There has been a lot of discussion with them. I'm certain that there there's a lot of context that we don't have. All the data has provided us a bunch. I, I'm not inclined to change the committee's recommendation. I wasn't there for the discussion. Yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of with Dan and you, Judy, on this. We 
I think we need to respect the process. In, in that case, I'm gonna call the question on the motion that's on the floor. Yeah. All right. All right. So this is the motion to uh, recommend. Well, no, I think we have to vote on calling the question actually. I, I believe that has to be uh, an objection to, to calling the question. The question at, at hand is the motion to amend. Yes. The short term rental regulations to add the four, four year uh, expiration of special permit. All right. So all on, or occupied. Right. So all, well, first of all, all in favor of calling the question. And Julie, if you would do the honors. Okay. Uh, so calling the question um, Bartlett? Aye. Katie? Aye. McMacken? Aye. Ian? Aye. Vanderslice? Aye. Warren? Aye. Bahora? Aye. Army I. So that's an, uh, unanimous. Okay, so we move on and we now vote on the motion on the floor, which is to approve Article 24 with the amendment that the special permit should expire in, Dana, four years? Yeah, four years. Pick a number. Four years. Okay. Four years. Okay. So Bartlett? No. Katie? I find this a difficult one, but I'll say no. McMillan? McMacken? Nay. Sheehan? Aye. Vanderslice? No. Warren? No. Zahora? No. Carmi, no. So that's seven eyes, one no. So that passes. Okay, so Dan, I think a motion okay. is in. It doesn't pass, it does not pass. Yeah. Right. Thank so. you, Bob. In that case, I'm going to move that the uh, FinCom approve the, the citizens uh, or the, mm -hmm. uh, the group by, what are we calling okay. the two groups? We're calling it Article 24. Article 24. Tw Article 24 is the one that was approved by the, the, the group that was Formed by the town and of townspeople yeah, and yeah. volunteers. I'm I'm going to move Short that we approve that committee and march ahead. I'll second that. Okay, Bartlett. I'm sorry. I. Beatty. I. McMacken. I. Did we have any time for a discussion on this? Sure. We didn't, but we can. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I won't uh, belabor the point, but basically, we're, we're voting on um, giving the Board of Selectmen the power to regulate short term rentals however they see fit, because there's nothing in here about an annual requirement. Nothing. None on the licensing part. Right. They, they are the licensing agent for the town. So oh. it's their responsibility, as, as Tony pointed out, local licenses, entertainment licenses, all, all licenses uh, for usage in the town. So this would just be another category of that license that has to be um, renewed annually. That's my understanding. I appreciate that, but it's just it's just not in the bylaw. So. It's, it's just like a, a blank check. I would, my, I guess my, my suggestion would be that should your motion carry, you later are gonna work together to develop like a recommendation to be included in the warrant. And if the committee felt supportive of a requirement to renew the licensing on an annual basis, you could suggest that in your recommendation. And like I said, that's always been the intent. Um, I, just, I strongly believe that the Board of Selectmen's eventual regulations will include an annual renewal. So if you wanted to mention that in your, in your recommendation, I don't think you'd get any pushback from the town. That's good, I like that. Absolutely. And I also like what Judy said, which is that down the road, we can certainly propose amendments later. Right. Um, yeah. And the Board of Selectmen can propose amendments later too. 
But right. I like what you said, Tony, that we could put something to that effect about licensing in our recommendation. Thank you. Yeah, and just what I intended to do with this meeting was after uh, we come to whatever vote we come to on this Article 24 and 25, um, we have a discussion amongst ourselves and uh, try to give Deborah some guidance in what she's going to write. So what what should our recommendation be? What are the words that are going to appear in our book? So I actually uh, one thing, um, Dana <clears throat> and I, I believe, um, agreed to swap because it was clear at our last meeting to me that he has done a great deal of research. Okay. So I've taken on his two articles recommendation right dana and you're going to write the recommendation for this one yes if uh you know that's what the committee wants uh, i'm i'm a little out of sync with the rest of the committee but you know i respect the vote and um you'll have a chance to edit right okay so i, I think that's a great recommendation i mean i think that thank you Tony. that's, that's a very uh good way to put that forward all right so deborah just for my record keeping. So you are taking Article 8, Water and Sewer Paving, and Article 18, Sewer DPW Capital. And in return, Dana is taking taking these two short-term rental articles, correct? Correct. OK, all right, enough housekeeping. Um, is there further discussion on Dan's motion? No. And then, um, no, thank you for the opportunity to discuss it a little bit. Okay, so. Shall I start again? Yeah, I think we ought to start again just to be clean. All right, so Bartlett? Aye. Beatty? I'm going to say aye, but I want to thank Dana for all of the research. And, and time and effort he's put into this. And I also want to thank you, Dana, for working on the writing the recommendations. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to say aye. McMacken? Aye. Ken? As much as I want to vote aye, I just feel like it doesn't go far enough. I, I, I respectfully vote nay. Vanderslice? Aye. Warren? Aye. Lahora? Aye. Army, aye. So that's the seven one, and the motion passes. And then, so this is going to be recommended, and we voted on April fourth. Oops. All right. So we have Article twenty five as well, which is the. Uh, the citizens petition version of short term rentals. Anyone care to make a motion on that one? Yes, I make a motion to not recommend this article uh, as it conflicts with um, Article 24. I'll second that. Some discussion? Discussion, exactly. No discussion, and should we vote? Bartlett? Please explain, because we're, if we say aye, that means we're voting not to recommend. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, if. Yes. Um, yes, an aye vote is to not recommend. A nay I vote is to, recommend. well, to not, not, no, it's not to recommend. No, it's not to recommend, it's to. Not, 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 not to recommend. <laughs> It, it's subtle, but <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's a double negative. So it means right. That's why yeah, I'm asking. Like <laughs> I think it would require a second motion and a second vote to recommend it. Correct. Right. Yeah. Okay. So motion is to not recommend. Bartley. Aye. Beatty. Aye. McMacken. Aye. Jean. Aye. Anderslice? Aye. Warren? Aye. Zahora? Aye. Charmy? Uh, no, um, yes. Aye. <laughs> I had to give that some thought again, sorry. That's okay. 
so unanimous that passes to not recommend okay so that is passed um let, Michelle let, has her hand up. Oh, I'm sorry, Michelle. Thank you. I apologize. Don't want to interrupt your meeting, but as you were voting, this thought came to mind. Um, and, and I certainly appreciate all the work that all of you do. I have a concern. Were, was, were any of the citizen, trying to make sure I ask this correctly, um, were, the members of the citizens petition informed of FinCom's meetings to review both uh, both uh, chain both of the short-term rental uh, bylaw chain, proposed bylaws and given an opportunity to speak before you. Yeah, yes, Dan Dolce was here. I don't like a week or so ago. Okay, okay. So he was given the opportunity to, to answer any questions that you yeah. the committee yes, had. Yes, and he was okay. very okay. articulate. I mean, okay. Great. We had a we had a long discussion. Okay, great. Thank you. Question. <clears throat> All right. So let let's just chat a bit about what do we want the words to say. And uh, maybe I'm just going to start it off. So I I think we need to say we are recommending this. There are two primary differences between the, the two articles. One, um, one, one is the requirement for the special permit, which we think adds you know, an, another layer of enforcement to it. And the second biggest difference is what Dan brought up, which is just the process by which they were developed. The short-term rental committee article was developed through a public process public hearings, consultation with planning board, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I think those are the, the two reasons we hang our hats on. And then second, jumping off of what a couple of folks have said, is that uh, we should probably list out some things we would recommend being included in the regulations, one of them being the annual renewal. We want to recommend that to have that codified somewhere um, that it, it would be a one year annual renewal requirement for licensing. Yeah. Where would it be? Be in the bylaw? Oh, no. No, it would, it would be in whatever regulations are published. Okay. Anyone else? I feel like I was the only one that jumped on. Would that would that be in the regulations, or would, is that if that verbiage would be in our recommendation? Because we can't get it into the regulations right now, but our recommendation would be that the board of selectmen will add that to the recommendations, or make sure that's in the recommendations. Yes, that would be at least in my thinking. That's part of the text of our recommendation that appears in the book, the supporting text that goes with it. Thank you. Okay. And then what were the other um, elements you wanted to add, Bob? You covered two of them at first. We talked about the licensing. Uh, what that, else? Was, that was all I had. So what, what else we, you know, is, well, you mentioned that um, it's gone through this public process. That, that we call it out. Go ahead, Dana. Well, you mentioned that it went through this public process of so the various <clears throat> boards and committees, and yeah, um, I'm sorry. That's so, why we're going to support it. Yeah. So I, I it, again, in, this is in my mind. There are two reasons, two compelling reasons that we supported this one, and did not support the citizens' petition. And those two reasons are the special <clears throat> permit. And the process by which uh, this was developed, it was developed in consultation, you know, it was through public meetings, consultation with planning board, you know, direct experience with uh, the short term rentals as, as they've been managed in town up to now. 
That's a really good idea, Bob, and whoever else uh, suggested that it, it just that may help tip the scales. I think that's good. Yeah, I agree. All right. In a sense, it's respect for the process of the various bodies and committees that have been elected or appointed. And that to me is the way on something like this, when there's been a lot of process, that makes very good sense to respect the process. I respect that. I respect respecting the process. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to say one thing too, in closing, the committee's already voted on this, but surrounding towns have not allowed the short-term rentals in the residential zones of town. It's not, this is not an outlier, you know, idea. And um, what we've, what we've approved here is pretty permissive. I, I don't understand why the citizens petition people don't come on board. I don't get it. I, I don't get it either. Tony, we, did you have any conversations with them? I, um, some um, conversations are ongoing. Um, I just want, I raised my hand, just wanted to ask that you consider another point for your recommendation. Um, a lot of what I hear, I think, is confusion about what is being voted on at town meeting in the sense of uh, some folks are kind of approaching it as, do I want short-term rentals or not in the town of Nahant? And that's not actually what is being voted on. And if you're, if, if that's something that I, in my messaging, and I have to do it in a very unbiased way, um, in my education of the public is right now, there are no rules and regs. There is no place in the zoning bylaws for this use. And um, getting something passed will allow the town to regulate this type of activity in our town. So it's actually kind of like for a lot of people who may have concerns about uh, short-term rentals, they actually would, they're better off voting in favor of an article because it's gonna give us the ability to regulate them. Where if you're approaching it as, I wanna vote no because I don't want short-term rentals at all in my community, that actually would leave it in its current state of affairs where there are no rules and regulations. So I don't know if you guys are willing to use your um, book to help educate the public on what they're actually voting on, but it was just something I wanted to. All right, so maybe, maybe that's the first paragraph to this whole thing, which is, you know, this this article is to allow the town to regulate them where there are no regulations now. And the objective is um, part of the short-term rental committee, maybe Rob can help with this. They, they laid out a three or four different objective. So there was one on public safety. There was one on, I've forgotten what they were. So, you know, kind of lay that out. So purpose of the article is to allow the town to regulate it where now we have no regulations. The objectives are one, two, three, four, whatever, whatever those were. Um, and the mechanism for doing this is we're changing the zoning bylaws, we're adding a general bylaw, and there will be a set of regulations to uh, to written by the selectmen. That will include licensing. That will include licensing. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully annual licensing. And what about any questions that might come up about um, location, like zoning, like business or residential? D do you think we need to anticipate that?
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the, the, it can be a slippery slope if we try to explain this whole thing. We're in into it for yeah, you know, pages Our, and pages. Dana's not wrong. Other towns have restricted uh, the use to certain districts in their communities. Um, in the process of considering that, our legal counsel expressed concern about the, our town being able to limit it to just commercial because our commercial <laughs> district is so small that it would essentially be uh, like a prohibition. And so it's, it's not apples to apples, but he's right. Other towns have, have done that. Some towns have limited only certain types of short-term rentals, types being owner-occupied versus non in certain commercial or residential districts. So there's a lot of different, you know, a lot of towns have done different things. Um, but of course, any type of change that we adopt at town meeting has to be approved by the attorney general. Right. And Michelle just pointed out a kind of our our enforcement mechanism is the four percent cap. Yeah, there's a four. Yeah, yeah, there's a which four is in the cap which is in the bylaws, not in the regulations. Right, that's in the bylaw. So it says not more than. So actually, the regulations theoretically could do less. Yeah. Um, uh, and I, I would, I would propose we include the planning board. Thank you, Michelle's uh, summary, the comparative summary of the two articles. So if people want more detail, we could refer them to that. I, I heartily agree. I'd just like to make a comment too. I mean, the, the composition of this committee is we're, we're to advise um, the annual town meeting on what we've been able to, to discover about this these articles. And uh, other committees that have much more um, depth of knowledge and spent a lot more time on it than we have. But, you know, we, we have, we, this committee has spent some time and, um, you know, it's not going to be a bullet pointed recommendation and it's going to definitely respect the work the other committees have done, but I don't think a deep dive is really what the town's needs from us. On this. Yeah, I agree. I agree as well. I was just going to say, we've got other committees whose purview it is to do the very detailed work and what we're respecting is that they've done it. Um, and so I don't think, I agree with you, Dana, I don't think the town is looking for us to repeat that. Right. I mean, we, we sort of have, should have a strategic vision of uh, yeah, the housing needs of this town. And uh, we see that we do need regulation and I completely agree. We need some common sense regulation. We voted for that, even though I voted against it, but um, I felt like it, it could be better. So, I mean, if we express that to the town then they can, Make their minds yep. up in your town meeting. Yep, exactly. And your your phrase common sense regulation. That I think that rings true. I also right. think that it would be, and when you look at my wording for the feeding animals, wild animals proposal, um, I it might be useful, Dana, because you're going to be writing this. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> to include that all other towns or even name them um, on the North Shore, because I mentioned that in my wording, um, right. have um, regulations. And I think that's an important thing for, um, you know, town members here to know. We'll do. Yeah, I look forward to seeing your draft, Barbara. Oh, my draft says that about we're, we're the only town on the North Shore that does not have a bylaw about feeding wild, wildlife. So I added that and saying sort of in the wisdom of, you know, sort of seeing that these towns must have had wisdom in thinking this through. 
I mean, you don't, you don't have to prove that now, but I'm just saying, I think that phrase yeah. that we're the only town that doesn't um, is a powerful um, commendation for people to think about, because that means these other towns have all gone through this and thought about it. Will do, and yeah. I appreciate that offer, Barbara. Thank you. Um, but Dana um, and everybody, I'm sorry to drag this out because I think I agree certainly that we need to be minimalist when we come to the article and, and the recommendation wording. Do we want to say anything about the cap? We, we could say maybe we endorse the cap and, and, and you know, it should be pretty binding, not, not something that, well, actually they have to be a bylaw change. So it'd be another, did they have to have another town meeting vote, two thirds vote to change it. So that two, that 4% is pretty, you know, set into the bylaws. Right. I just don't know how many citizens, I mean, how many people know about that and whether it's even worth. I like what you're saying, Deborah, because I didn't know. And um, that means there's actually not very many. What does that mean? There's only 13 left open. If people are, are concerned about runaway, you know, NIMBY stuff. Know um, yeah. You know, the more we can tell them up front, and it doesn't take a lot of words, perhaps, to tell them there is a cap. Just yes, the cap, which is well above where we are now, by the way. So it's it's pretty permissive. This. Uh, oh, what? This tell program. us again what the cap is, please. Sixty-four. Oh, it's sixty-four. Okay. Sixty-four <laughs> units, based on the current number of housing units in town, which is about one thousand six hundred and eighty. Tony, Tony, Tony points out though that when the regulations are written, they could could impose a cap of less than that four percent. The four percent is a max. Oh, okay. So that may, I mean, you know, maybe that's something we want to include in our recommendation, the way we we're asking for an annual rule of the license fee. Okay. I will do that. All right. Did we give you enough to confuse you, Dana? <laughs> <laughs> I was cute, confused coming in, but yes, I have some clarity. Thank you. You're a, you're a champion, Dana. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. All right. So moving on. Um, let's move on. And uh, a short discussion just about the mechanics of how we put the book together, Tony. And I think Tony and Allison both. So our uh, written recommendations are slowly coming in, and we're 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 about to talk through the ones we have to date. How how do you want us to feed this to you? Do you want us to compile essentially compile the warrant with our recommendations embedded? Or do you want us to send you uh, just the recommendations as they are approved and then you can compile it? I don't mean you personally, I mean. I believe that the, you're sending the recommendations to me and I am putting them into the warrant. Well, that that's, yeah, that's the question is why. I just want to be clear that we're, what is the process we're following? Am I correct that they, they should go to me and I'm going to put them into the warrant and I will put the warrant together. And then I will, once we have agreed, approved on everything, then I will send the warrant to Allison. And Allison and I will get together. She will convert my Word document into a PDF and combine what she has put together with all the tables and accounting pieces. But okay. we have to look at each one of our recommendations first. We will do all of that together. Yes. Right. Yes. Once, yeah. that's what I said. Once we've done them all and they're approved. Right. And once it's all final, then the whole thing will go to Allison. I I have shared already what I've put together so far with Allison, so she's aware of where I'm at. Julie seems to be very much on top of this and ahead of the game. So we're happy with that. 
Yeah, uh, that's hugely helpful, Julie. The fact that you made this a process means that there's not some stupid midnight running trying to make this work. So yeah, really do well done. I don't do midnight well anymore. And it's it's thanks <laughs> to Allison. Allison and I got together back in, I think it was December, November or December of last year. And we kind of worked out a plan. Uh, really, really well done. Again, thank you. So. Yes. And then thank you for, you know, taking it on because it sucks. Yeah. Well, I do this part. <clears throat> you. You're welcome. Okay, so we, we are about to begin that process then. And let me kind of quickly explain the way I thought this would work. So that we have this tracking document and I've just listed out all of the articles. I've been keeping track of uh, which ones are recommended and when. So basically as these drafts come in, um, we can record them and then we will proofread them together and wordsmith them together. And when uh, we, we have approved them, then we, we record that here in this approved column. And actually, I guess that's your cue that you can take that set of words and put it into your master document. Right. Okay. All right. So. I'm, these are the. This is what I've gotten to date. Um, so this is this is Barbara's. How do I pull this thing over here? Yeah, my I can't do the the snow. Yeah. Right. So this is my draft, and it's a draft. Okay. So basically, you know, our our exercise here is let's talk through this word literally wordsmith it you know it, which could be anything from you know i just don't like the whole tenor of the thing or you know it needs a period or a comma here so can you can, make the screen a little larger please i can try thank you how about that perfect when i look at this and i and i appreciate the sentiment it's it's um it's very um it's more emotional than I think we need to have in a in a warrant article or recommendation. And I would take out everything from the part where it says feeding wild animals to Nahant. So I think we can go from um, by restricting feeding wild animals, take any other action relative thereof to Nahant is the only community on the North Shore. I take out uh, that whole middle part. It just feels very um, emotional. I just, I'm, I used that just to use the act, the wording, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So I took every single one of the, you know, health, safety, and welfare. And so I just wrote it that yeah. way. But I, I know, get what you're saying. Because you say may, I, I just think that that, that um, introduces conversation that we don't want to have. I think you could talk about it. I think when you talk about the recommendation, you can say those things. I just don't know that we want to put it in print. I see what you're saying is that people, there might then be, this might invite a discussion <clears throat> of whether or not such diseases, how yeah. they spread. And, you know, yeah. like right now, there's this huge thing going on about brucellosis. Mm hmm with bison and oh my goodness it's just enormous and um and i was worried about the sentence with humans pets and wild animals too so i, I was just simply basing it on taking each word but I, I i absolutely judy don't want this to invite very complicated discussions about animal diseases or not and raising specters. I get it. Can I make a comment? Um, I, I, I hear the comment about um, the emotional element of these two sentences. Um, the second sentence, feeding wild animals may increase encounters that are unsafe for humans, pets, and wild animals. That's, that's pretty fact-based and um, I don't get an emotional feel out of that, but- But it's um, kind of redundant. Feeding wild animals may increase encounters with wild animals. All right, right, take out the wild animals. I mean, in that case, but as soon as you say may, 
And if I was, uh, you know, sitting in the audience, that, that would get my hackles up, frankly. And I'd stand up and go, what do you mean, may? It may not. And there'd be a big discussion that you just want to avoid. So one other comment, too, if I may. <clears throat> the, uh, the final sentence, Nahat is the only community on the North Shore, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I, I would like to see that as sort of a separate element, a space in between that and the the language above it. I know it's not a paragraph, but just just to highlight it so people can absorb that and uh, um, help them with their decision. I'm not sure we need, though, Dana, um, to change the format if we were to take Judy's recommendation, because then we would be left with something so brief that it would stand out just because of the brevity of the thing. So, Deborah, could you, could you run that by me again, please? Oh, sorry. Um, I don't know what you meant by extra, like, white space if you didn't, you didn't mean a paragraph, right? Right, did not, no. Yeah, I just a, a separate bullet item that would uh, bullet. highlight that Nahat bullet. is the only community on the North Shore that does not have an article, such an article. She yeah, never... but all I was saying is that if, if we did subtract what the two sentences that Judy suggested subtracting, we would end up with such a short, rec a shorter recommendation where that would, the last sentence would be more obvious. Do we like that, just, just the two sentences? I think the two sentences say it. I do too. I'm, I'm fine because the, the the import of what I was implying by the last sentence is that all these other communities have thought this through. You know, this has been something that has been in their bylaws and they've discussed it and they've gone through the whole process. So that was part of what I, that's what I mean by wisdom. What if we change the word wisdom to value? Oh, that's fine. Absolutely. Sure. Yep. I like that better. So what have we decided or about the middle? Part? I'm happy taking those out. It's up to you. I'll defer to the committee. I agree with taking them out. I do too. I think it's just because it's more readable. Yep. More quickly. And people may bring up those points themselves, but this way it's very, I wanted this to be very straightforward. So I just took the wording, but I think the more straightforward, the better. So, so nobody wants to include the phrase legislating common sense in this? I thought <laughs> about it, but then I thought you know, people, just... people would be- I know, I'm teasing. I'm... Oh, yeah. I, I'd like to, but I, I think that, um, no. People disagree about what's <laughs> common sense. Talk, talk about an emotional feel. Hmm. No. Yeah. yeah, so good. But this is good. And, you know, it'll either go or not. How about an anecdotal comment about how putting your Frisbee out in your yard and filling it with dog food is not allowed? <laughs> I, that happened, by the way. I actually can't believe that happened, but okay. Wow. But okay. thanks for taking this one, Barbara. Oh, no problem. I just wanted it to be very straightforward. And thank you for spotting that, Judy. I think it makes it more straightforward. Thank you. The other thorny one, yours and Dana. And I would be very happy to say, if we get into a discussion when I'm up there, that the assumption of the value is that other towns have thought this through carefully. You know, this has been something that they, for a variety of good reasons, have decided has value. So that's the point of it. Okay. Um, we respect mm -hmm. the process. I keep yeah. going to say that a lot tonight. <laughs> is, yeah. there, is there any value in adding a sentence that says you will find the complete wording of the by, by law uh, as an appendix in our book? Yeah, or, we should say that. Yes. Up, up there, the wording copy of which is available in the town clerk's office, but we are going to put it as a as a appendix, right? It need, yeah, I believe it needs to go in the warrant part. 
It's up there in the first, yeah. So uh, thank you, yes. Should it be an appendix or should it follow right after the article? Typically, something like this would be in the appendix. Okay, thanks. Thank you. We don't call it FinCom. We do call it that, but this is formal. And aren't we advisory and finance? Doesn't advisory I, come I first? Think right, That's advisory. right. I have one more edit when you're done, Bob. You gotta wait till yeah. I'm not saying a word. <laughs> I want you to finish your thought. You know, it, it's hard to edit while while 15 people are looking at you. You know, public <laughs> typing. And you can't good. type very well to begin with. It's even. Mm. Okay. Uh, one more edit, please. Yes. Um, where it says not have such an article, can we make it not have such a bylaw? Yes, you're right. Good point. Thank you. Yep. Uh, is are both words in bylaw capitalized? Yes. Uh, I and, looked at a bylaw, not an bylaw. A, yeah, it's not an, it's an A now. Right. Yep. And then and, it's as described in this bylaw, not article, at the end of the sentence. As described in this proposed bylaw. Thank you. And if you want to be consistent, your first sentence. Yep. As finance and passage advisory versus of this advisory. Bylaw. And finance. Thank you. <laughs> Recommends passage of this bylaw. First oh, sentence. No, no, no. It's, he's, he's looking at. Something. I was suggesting something else, but yeah, you got another. Right. I do have one oh, other. Thank you. Yes, yes. The order. Thank you. And, but I then have we also have to say recommends passage of this bylaw. Is well, that this, no? The article, the bylaw. The article though. Yeah, the article, article, right. the articles, I think, should be capitalized. Capitalized. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I see. There's a difference between an article and a bylaw. So what we're recommending is the passage of an article, which is about a bylaw. Oh, right. Yeah. Yes. Got it. Yes. I have one other comment, in, um, which is that the phrase that begins with suggesting um, really is, it seems to me it's already fairly obvious if we say Nahan is the only community on the North Shore that does not have such a bylaw. Maybe that's not too obvious. Um, I'm just always trying to be concise. We could say that does not have such a bylaw. Um, for, for the restriction of blah, blah, maybe. Or, or how about does not have such a bylaw, comma, uh, reinforcing the value. Mm, confirming, how about confirming? Uh, let me look. I like actually I like suggesting. But, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, I don't like the confirming quite. Sorry. That's right. That's okay. We'll put a period there, write it bylaw period, and then and be done. Other communities have the, seen the value of restricting the feeding of wild. But I like that. Yeah, that. Make it two sentences. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Two sentences better. And I then agree. We don't need the suggesting. Just says other communities have seen the value. Right. Right. That's excellent. Right. Okay. That's good. All right. Um, we want to take a quick vote on this. Are we okay with that as it as written now? Motion to approve as written. Second. Um, mm -hmm. Article. It's 23. Okay. Um, Bartlett? Aye. Beatty? Aye. McMacken? Aye. Sheehan? Aye. Andersweiss? Aye. Warren? Aye. Laura? Aye. Carmi? Aye. That's unanimous. Okay. Then. Oh, you know what? One more thing. If people ask, I better do a little tiny bit of research. I know that Swampscott and Marblehead have such a such bylaws and Salem and, does. 
And Salem does too? Yeah. Okay, so then it's sort of the definition of North Shore. I don't know about Lynn. I don't know about whether- I think Lynn, I believe Lynn does too. Lynn does. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So I'm pretty much correct in saying North Shore. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Okay, so these, I, I think these are Peters. Yeah, Peter sent his in. Yeah, yeah so Peter is Article one. one. Okay, so then these are Peter. So Article one, we typically make no recommendation, and this is like pretty much boilerplate every year. Right. He's got advisory and finance committee. He's got that right. We okay with that one as? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so that was article one. We should just, just to be clean again, let's just quickly vote on it. I'll make that motion to accept the uh, recommendation. Second. Article one as written. Yep, second. Okay, Bartlett? Aye. Katie? Aye. McMacken? Aye. Sheehan? Aye. Vanderslice? Aye. Warren? Aye. Laura? Aye. Tommy, aye. That's unanimous. Okay, so that's first one. Article three, prior year's bills. It, this is the same deal. It's another one. There's no recommendation, and this is just boilerplate. I'll give Did you some. Yeah, okay. Yes, and if so, okay. let's just, just vote it. I'll make the motion to accept Article 3, uh, the recommendation as written. I'll second. Bartlett? Aye. <clears throat> Aye. McMacken? Aye. Sheehan? Aye. Vandersize? Aye. Warren? Aye. Mahora? Aye. Army? Aye, that's unanimous. Before we go on to 14, and I should ask Allison about this, although we haven't voted to recommend two, which <clears> is the ice and snow, we could put in the verbiage without the numbers. Could we do that? That's what I was going to recommend. So I just looked at your recommendation from last year, and um, that's what you did. You basically said it wasn't finalized as of the time of town <laughs> meeting, but you would bring forth your recommendation at town meeting. I'll have final numbers definitely by town meeting. Right. Let's put in that verbiage right now <clears throat> and can vote on that. And, but we have to vote on the on the uh, on the article too. Remember, right. we didn't do that last time. Right. So we could do both. Technically, we haven't voted on either Article 1 or Article 3 yet. Oh. <clears throat> I, I don't think. Allison, do you have the verbiage? I, I don't have the verbiage to paste in. Um, yep, I have it from last year. Great. Do you want me to just <clears throat> paste that in? Oh, you have it, Julie? Yeah, I do. OK. Excellent. And then I also just wanted to mention, as of this moment, I do not have any prior year bills. I'm hoping it stays that way, but I think it's good if you go forward with no recommendation. And then I think if there aren't any, then what you indefinitely postpone the article at town meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes, that's what we would do. Okay. So I'm crossing my fingers. <laughs> I have none right now. Good. So, article, which one are we talking about right now? Right now article, article two. Two? This did is we, snow and ice. Did so, we actually vote on article three? Let's be, before we move to two. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, I, I don't think we did, but I'm not sure. No, we didn't. Allison's, Allison's comment was about article three. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I think Snow and Ice, I think, is two, isn't it? Snow and Ice is two. Snow and Ice is two. Yeah. Briar Year's Bills is three this year. So what, what, just pay no attention to the to the guy that's typing on the screen right now and <laughs> vote, vote on Article 2. And Allison, may I ask a favor? Can you, yep. put, can you put in the chat the text of the of Article Two? Sure, I'll do it. And, now. and last year's recommendation, and I'll just paste it from there into here. Mm -hmm. Allison, do you want me to try to do that? I can do it. No worries. Thank you. Copy that back here into the chat. Oh, here it is. Oh, did you do that? <laughs> I'm still working on it, and you got it in there already. I did it. Thank you, Allison. Mighty fast. Maybe that's why I couldn't get in there. You were ahead of me. All right. Where's the verbiage? I don't see it. It's in the chat. In the chat. Oh, it's in the chat. Okay. So Bob is taking it now from the chat. So you actually just have to change it to FY 2023 snow and ice. Right. Okay, so <clears throat> chat. There's a blue thing that it doesn't like the comma or something. Right, it doesn't need a comma, but right. that's the article. We can't change that. Oh, okay. That's right. So we have to bump all so we these. We have to change that to 24, right? Yeah. Yeah. We are appropriating $30,000 actual expense, but this we don't have that actual expense, right? This is what we don't know. Yeah, I can look that up for you quickly while you're doing that. Okay. All right. So did we ever, did we vote on three yet? <laughs> Well, we haven't voted on two yet. Oh, well, come on. We, we, we can do this. We can. <laughs> I recommend that um, we approve, our, I'm making a motion, I move that we approve of article two about snow and ice oh, um, okay. with the final numbers we rec that we do not recommend. Isn't that what I'm, I'm saying? What am I supposed to say here? Uh, we, we're not going to recommend it until we get the final numbers. Right. We make no recommendation. Right. And until we get the final numbers. Exactly. Whatever he said. That was the motion. That was the motion. No recommendation. Okay. Need a second. I'll second that. And we're approving. This is for the article, correct? Yes, article, article two. two. Right. Um, so Bartlett. Uh, aye, sorry. That's okay. Beatty. Aye. McMacken. Aye. Sheehan. Sheehan. Sorry about that. I was on mute. <clears throat> There's something, is there something wrong with the language here where it says fiscal year 2022 versus fiscal year 2024? No, we're appropriating in fiscal year 2024. Uh, the 2022 will be 2023. Yeah, that should be 2023, right? We the, yeah, we got to get yeah. the new figures. But that well, so no, you're not going to have that figure, though, prior to town meeting. <clears throat> oh, okay. Right. 
I have the F final FY22 figure, okay. um, which is 179, 182, 49. Okay, she and votes aye. Okay. Okay, thank you. Vandersize? Aye. Warren? Aye. Zahara? Aye. Charmy? Aye. That's unanimous. Now, you're going to have to forgive me, please. Article one, we voted to accept the recommendation as written, correct? That was the motion? Yes. But we, but we haven't, never voted on the article itself. But we haven't voted on the article yet. <laughs> Correct. So we need to vote on, we need a motion first. I'll make that motion. I'll Please second. Go. Okay, thank you. So Bartlett? Aye. Katie? Aye. McMacken? Aye. Jean? Aye. Andersize? Aye. Warren? Aye. Zahora? Aye. Army, that's unanimous. I. So that's the vote on the article, and that's the vote on the recommendation. That's the vote on the article. And do we have? So we voted on the article, and then the recommendation for one. We voted on the article two. Do we need to vote on the recommendation, or okay. we need to wait for any other information on this? No, I think we're clear. We've done both the article itself and the text for one and two. So I, I think we're on three, are we not? Uh, I thought we made a motion. On, we skipped article two because we didn't have Peter's articles up. No, article two, it's snow and ice. That's right. We just, did. we just did one. Okay. So we have three. And, and, we, I, and we and we I'm I'm sorry to I'm just getting a little confused because we're jumping all over the place here. I know, so for I know. Article Two, we did vote to um, approve the recommendation as written. I believe so. Because I have that we we did Article Three for the recommendation. All right. Well then, let's, again, right. let's just for the for the record. For the record, thank you. So we so, need we need a motion on the words. Right. I'm, I make a recommendation. I, I mo make a motion that we approve the uh, verbiage of the recommendation as written. Second. Thank you. Uh, Bartlett? Aye. Lady? Aye. McMacken? Aye. Sheehan? Aye. Andersmice? Aye. Warren? Aye. Zahora? Aye. Army, aye, that's unanimous. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So now, <laughs> <laughs> yay, we're on to number three, Article three. Yep. And I don't think we've done anything with Article three. So we approved the article, correct? No. It so we approve the recommendation. I, yeah, I. Yeah. Thank you. So we need a motion to approve the article. The article itself. Oh, wait, I'm a little confused. I apologize to the committee. I don't want to waste anybody's time here, but um, didn't we just hear that there are no prior bills? We we heard that that we, that Allison is cautiously optimistic that there will be. <sighs> right. So as it's written, make that clear that, you know, at the time this was printed, we didn't have any. You might want to say, though, that prior year bills are not anticipated. Because as okay. of right now, I don't have any. One may crop up. It might okay. be, you know, an office might be like, oh, I just got this, you know, bill from our, for a copy machine that. Okay, so Allison, good point. Maybe in that second sentence, we say prior year bills are capital N-O-T anticipated in the advisory 
Finance Committee intends to produce a recommendation prior to the annual town meeting. Sound good? Yep. Uh, Bob? Yeah. It says in the, the very se the second sentence, prior year bills are anticipated. I think that's where we want to put not oh, anticipated. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, prior year bills are not anticipated. Right. Second sentence. Yep, second sentence. I hate yeah. the passive voice, but that's all right. I'll Okay. So to do this properly, we should have a motion to approve Article 3. I so move to approve Article 3. I'll second that. Bartlett? Aye. Beatty? Aye. McMacken? Aye. Sheehan? Aye. Vanderslice? Aye. Warren? Aye. Sohora? Aye. Charmy, aye. That's unanimous ayes. And now we need a motion to, since we already approved the recommendation, we need a motion to approve the recommendation as amended, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I will move to I will second. do that. on Article 3 to accept it, the recommendation as amended. So Bartlett? Aye. Beatty? Aye. McMacken? Aye. Vanderslice? Aye. Oh, I went out of order. Sheehan? Aye. Warren? Aye. Dehora? Aye. Carmi? Aye. Unanimous. Yay. All right. Yay. So. Okay. And then uh, Peter's got at least one more in here. So this is stabilization. Careful, I can get it all on the screen. <clears throat> um, I'd like to clarify this. The article wording is to approve 200,000 for the stabilization fund. Hmm. I wonder where, That's what I remember too. Yeah, I thought it was 200. I think it was 125. He copied last year's. Yeah. So is, is that... Did we change the wording other than the, the dollars? Yes, I think we did. Yeah, it says 200,000. Yeah, down here it does. In the current, yeah. And then, um, Allison, again, I hate to put you on the spot, but you've risen to the occasion every other time. The current balance of the stabilization fund before this appropriation is? 665 and change. Um. Yeah, I actually pulled a report today, but before that, I believe in the prior paragraph, that was taken from the recommendation last year. So this should say in FY 2023, the Advisory and Finance Committee approved the stabilization funding. It was 250,000. Right. No, wait. So last year in 2023. Which is technically the current year that we're in. 
I was going to say, I thought we did more than what we're recommending this year because last year we had right. a little bit of a healthier. Yeah, so in FY 2023, it was 250,000. For FY 2024, it's 200. Right. And don't we need to change that wording from last year for as opposed to last year in? Because that implies we took the vote in 2023, which we didn't. So it would say last year for 2023, correct? Correct. Yes. And then also the, um, the last sentence there, the current balance of the stabilization fund before the FY 2024 appropriation is 600 and whatever it is, Allison. Yep, so I just ran a report um, today because I knew we were going over this. It's um, $607,027.98. Oh, I just, I rounded it. Do you want That's fine. That's fine. Uh, in the, <laughs> in the, the sentence, the last sentence of the paragraph before that, um, so continues your commitment set four years ago. And you have a period in 200,000 instead of a comma. You can and there's also an and up here in the second sentence that has to be deleted. Isn't it? The last year for the finances. No, this and doesn't belong all the so. Yeah, that needs to go. Thank you. And you fix that to a comma, good. Okay. Um, someone want to make a motion? Motion to approve Article 14 stabilization to add 200,000. Uh, make a motion to recommend that. I'll second. Uh, wait, there's something nobody caught. What? There was an extra space after the word oh. appropriation. <laughs> ah, good catch. Thank you, Microsoft. All right, we have a motion, we have a second. Okay, Bartlett? Aye. Beatty? Aye. McMacken? Aye. Sheehan? Aye. Vandersize? Aye. Warren? Aye. Nahora? Aye. Army? Aye, that's unanimous. the recommendation. Okay, do we have any others in this document? Oh yeah, look. Did we do we make a motion about the uh, the language uh, to recommend? No, we did. We did. We we had already yeah. voted on the yeah. article itself. So what we just voted was on the word language. Yeah. Okay. We done all the early ones between after number three, four, five, six, seven, etc. Uh, um, we we didn't do four because that's a salary and classification. We did five. Right. We didn't do six. Then we did all the rest until the two we did tonight, 24 and 25. Okay, because I know I wrote <clears throat> um, eight and we haven't done Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm doing them kind of okay. as people sent them. All right, oh, okay. So no, I'm, I'm not trying to do them in order because. Right. Okay. Which one would we just do? Where is it? Where's, oh, here's stabilization. All right, um, so back to Peter. So the next one he has is the Council on Aging um, Kitchen. Aging Kitchen. I thought that this money was coming from CPC. 
Um, I think there's there's old there's money from CPC from right. two years ago or a year ago. Um, then we have that was about fifty grand. Then we have fifty grand that came from the state's budget, and then this is the last fifty grand. All three right. combining makes one fifty, and then there's thirteen from the friends. So it's a this passes their budget will be one sixty three. So those X's should be filled in with 50,000. Right, and I think that the, that the clarity of where all the, that this is the final number should be included. And the, the words on your version are different from the version that I have in the, the article itself. The article I have is to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate and there was no comma and or appropriate from available funds in the treasury comma transfer from available funds comma so there was no or or raise by borrowing comma we can do that part you know the article language I'm going to be sending you guys a, an updated warrant tomorrow. Okay. okay. Right? So the article language, we can okay. copy and paste right in. Okay. Sounds good. Right. Yeah. So have, has the verbiage changed in the articles? You know, I don't know if, uh, if this, I'm not sure this sometimes, you know, you send this, send an article to legal and they, they move things around every year. Right. Like. right. Um, well, so this, to be fair, this is a new article this year. So I think oh. that Peter just made up the wording, to be honest. Oh, the I, language, I think, usually said, that beginning language right. is fairly similar. So we may have taken it from another article from a different well, year. I, I sent everybody all the articles, <laughs> the, the most recent ones that I had gotten from Allison. Right. So I have the verbiage. So Bob, when we're done with this, you can just send me what you've typed and I can type these recommendations into the copy right. of the wall. Yeah, so we don't need to worry too much about right. this, but yep. we do need right. to worry about this. Yep. So Ooh. while while we were discussing, um, I kind of added some stuff here. So I'm the Council on Aging provides necessary services to Nahant's elderly. I don't know why elderly is capitalized. Nahant's elderly. Is that even the right word? Uh, including providing meals. The existing kitchen is, and we just need some kind of a phrase that says the existing kitchen is old and antiquated. Yeah, except I don't know how to spell antiquated. <laughs> B I Q U A T E D. Wow, I got it. Okay. Yeah. And then the funds from this article will be combined with $50,000 from the Community Preservation Committee and an additional $50,000 from state funds for a total project funding of $150,000. The point of um, uh, on the, the sentence, the Community Preservation Committee, it's actually a Community Preservation Grant. So we combined with a grant from the community program. Uh, good, thank you. And um, yeah, that's that that that's what I was going for there. So from from a community preservation grant, and then I yeah, don't know yeah. if you want to also just add that there's a uh, thirteen thousand dollar commitment from the friends of the council on aging, right? Which brings it to one sixty three. And, yeah. That's important. They need to be. I think so. Yeah. They, oh, it's very important. They need to be thanked publicly. From the friends of the Council on Aging.
<laughs> and I don't know if you just want to clarify also that the 50,000 from this article is intended to come from free cash. I know that the verbiage says or from borrowing just because that's the legal jargon, but it is um, to come from free cash. Good point. I'd like to see that in there. I think free cash is capital. And can we go to the first sentence again, Bob, and take out elderly and put in senior citizens? Yeah, I don't like the word. I didn't like the word elderly okay. either. Because I'm a senior citizen, but I'm not elderly. <laughs> and you never will be. I don't think I am. No, never. Isn't that what we all want, though? Don't we all want to be elderly? I do. No. No. <laughs> At some no. point. Nope. No. Nope. The alternative's not good. No, I'm, I'm going to stay young forever. I'm going to live forever or die trying. There you go. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. Can I ask a question, though? Did we vote for Article 16? We don't really have the final language yet, right? So. We we had we haven't voted for the recommendation, but we did approve the article i believe we uh we we voted it from the warrant as published mm -hmm. at the time right okay so i have I a comment though i'm a bit it's a little confusing to have that last sentence that the source of the funding for this article will be free cash when yes. you've just said before that it's coming from the cpc grant and from state funds and from the friends of the council on aging that's and the additional said, fund you could say the source of the um, fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars is in the recommendation already. Two other times, I see what Barbara's saying. Me too. Which fifty thousand we have to you have to say? So the funds, the funds from this article, the the second sent third sentence. The funds from this article. The source of the funds for this article yes. will come from the free cash. Yeah, well, it comes up there. The way it's written now. No, take it. On the second sentence, the second where sentence, it says the funds from this article will be combined, you could say the source of the funds from this article. Mm, no will be free cash and it will be too long. There you go. The $50,000 from this article will be from free cash and will be combined with. Or you could simply say the $50,000 from this, the $50,000 from free cash for this article. I think we're trying to put too many thoughts on the sentence. Okay. This, this, yeah, this Why can't free cash just be part of the list of the the the, the bunch of other stuff that sources? Well, I think they're trying to. I think you're trying to make a point that you're spending free cash appropriately, and separately, it's being combined with these other efforts of fundraising. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Could say supplemented with. Or by instead of combined, maybe that gives the idea. You could just say the source of funding for this article is free cash, period. This combined with 50,000 from the community preservation grant, I would divide it into two sentences. Yeah. So move that sentence up. Yeah, that works. Better. Question to the group again. Um, Article 16, am I 
correct in thinking that the language is not final? Is that right, Allison? It, it is final. It's just what's uh, yeah. on this document that you're looking at. It's not here, right? That's it's not different. the correct language. Yeah. So we'll when you vote voted it. on it, when you voted on the article, you voted on the actual language. Right. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen it, so. Well, we, vote, we voted on it. it at a previous it's, meeting, I right. think. And, and Dana, I think it's I think it's just a couple words in different spots. It's not right. any major difference. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I'm sure you're right, Tony. I just I'm just uh, I don't feel like we have the right language here in front of us. But no, we don't. We no, know we don't. we're not we're not voting on on this. Right. We're voting. Okay. Okay. Voting. okay. Yeah. Fine. All right. Just as long as we're not voting on the article yet. So. All right, I'm good. One question, I can't, I don't understand whether this is the final one, but um, we have in the first sentence on the recommendation, provides necessary services, and then we have providing again, and maybe we could just say including meals. Yeah, we don't need the second providing. Yeah. It's a, you could say including meals and other services, because they do much more than meals. Yeah, but it says including, which implies that there are other services. Right. Yeah. No race implies it, I think. It does. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's better that way. All right. Do we have a motion on this one? I'll move to uh, approve the recommendation as written. I'll, I'll second. second. Yeah. Okay. Bartlett? Aye. Beatty? Aye. McMacken? Aye. Sheehan? Aye. Vanderslice? Aye. Warren? Aye. Zahora? Zahora? Is Judy still on with us? I'm here. Can you hear me? I can now. Oh, yeah. Aye. Thank you. And Tarmi I, that's unanimous. Excellent. All right, so the last, I can, is this the last one he's got? Okay. So actually, so what? So what did we do with the continued committees? I think we, voted to recommend it. So we, yeah, so we voted to recommend this. So we don't have to worry about this. Although um, Peter, we, we may, we may want to just cross check Peter's list here with the list that appears in the uh, warrant to make sure they agree with each other. We don't have to do that now. Um, well, Pete, they're, they're, they're not listed in the recommendation. No, they're not. Right. So we're just talking about this. Right. So Right? Are, are we okay with that wording? And if so, if so, we need a motion and a second. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
I'll move to accept this as uh, the recommendation as written. Second. Okay, Bartlett. Aye. Katie. Is it me? Beatty? Muted. Barbara, are you muted? Sorry, if we'll check to make sure that the other housing committee is in it, the one that Michelle is chairing. Is that in the list? What's it called? Yeah, that's, I know, we should have it in there. Oh, the housing production plan? Yes, or is that a committee or just a... It's a subcommittee created by the selectmen, so it doesn't need a town meeting okay. vote. Okay, then I'll just say aye. Thank you. Yep. Um, McMacken? Aye. Sheehan? Aye. Andersonites? Aye. Lauren? I'm looking at your email. Bob. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> well, eyes aye. are closed. Zahora? Aye. Tommy, aye. That's unanimous. Uh, all right, so these are Barbara, or sorry, Deborah's. I think the easiest thing <coughs> is stick them in here. Bob, can you make it just a little bigger, please? Thank you, that's better. Okay, now the, the formatting is going to be a little bit goofy. We can fix that. So uh, this is Article 8, mm -hmm. which is water and sewer paving. And here, these are the words we need to worry about. Get rid of the ants. Whoops. Right, that was boilerplate except for the misspellings and typos. <laughs> I didn't paste it because I couldn't find Julie's or thing. Oh, okay. Any other action relative thereto in the last thing? Yes. Is raised or be raised? We always use is, but be is correct. Oh. Nice. Raised. Yeah, it should be be appropriated and or transfer available. available. Looks good to me. Hey. Do we need a colon after recommended? I can't remember yes. in other ones whether we have a colon there or not. I'll, I'll be putting that in. I'll make sure that that's all uniform. Okay, thank you. See, there is col there are colons. All right. Do we want to do, do? Do we have a motion? I'll move that we do. We we voted it already. The article. Yes. So we're just yeah, we approved the article. So we're just talking about this. I move that we um, approve the wording for article. Is I second. I second it. What are for this article? I forget what number. Article eight. I second it. Bartlett. Aye. Sadie. Aye. McMacken. Aye. Sheehan. Aye. Andersonites. Aye. Warren. Aye. Laura. Aye. Charmy, aye. Unanimous. Okay, then moving right along. Oh, okay, so Article 18, where is, did I not catch it? I'm sorry, I'm, I may have screwed up here. Um, it's the one that has some red on it. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we ever agree on this on staggering the dump truck purchase? That was my question. Yeah. So. So everybody's on the same page here. Um, well, we we voted to recommend. This is my collection. We voted to recommend this, and. Uh, I recall Zach told us that they do have a capital plan where they are where they're staggering their their capital purchases uh, across a number of years and and that these dump truck purchases were indeed part of that capital plan. Okay. That's correct. Okay, so we need to fix this. So it should be recommended. It sounds like recommended. Yeah. And then. Um, so we don't really. Do we do, should we try to, do you want to, what's, what is your pleasure? Do we want to try to kind of do this on the fly together right now? Or should we give Deborah a chance to? Why don't we give Deborah a chance to uh, draft it for us? And I'm wondering, how are we doing in terms of when we need this all, Julie? Um, as, soon as, as soon as you have your recommendation written, if you could send it to me and I will put it in the copy that I have, and that's what I'll do with all the ones that we've done tonight. I'll put them all together in one document. And then prior to the next meeting, I'll send it out to everyone so that you'll have a chance to read everything. What I mean in terms of our larger time frame, how are we in terms of when we have to get this, you know, put getting, together into the printer? We're starting, to, we're starting to come up to time. Yeah, it's April 15th, I believe. Yep. <clears throat> Friday. Yep. Friday the 14th, actually. Okay. My tax returns due the 17th. So if there's so, a quick and dirty way to quickly um wordsmith this recommendation, it could be one more we could check off tonight. That's the only thing in favor of. Yeah, that would be nice. Let's try and do that. It's just to, to, to check to tick off one more box. Right. Agreed. I don't remember what Zach actually said. Are we going to go with something general on this one? I know it takes two years from ordering to deliver of these. And by the time that these arrive, the ones that we're currently using um, are pretty much going to be not usable. There was a couple pieces of it. Um, so you guys asked about staggering. Zach explained how that is, it's already part of a staggered capital plan. Um, there's also the timing piece that Julie just mentioned where they're a year and a half to two years uh, out from the time you put your order in to when you accept delivery. And lastly, he talked about how, you know, the trucks that we have now their value of trade-in oh yeah today is factored into this um cost so you may not you know you the cost of the truck may go up if you wait and for uh to do the second truck second truck the cost of that truck may go up the cop the trade-in value of your truck may go down and it'll be you know you'll be competing with other capital needs planned for that year. It was actually the meeting I missed because I was out of town. I, think I, did, so. read, I did read the minutes, um, but I, I don't know how detailed they were. Um, they're taking deliveries. I'm just. Mm -hmm. That's good. You're doing my work for me. We're doing it together. 
um uh, taking so so what <laughs> so well, i need there was, there was the depreciation it was the um so the decline order now will guarantee that we have the truck within two years at the locked in price right locked in price of both the truck and the um depreciation on the trade-in you could just say we'll lock in the price or something well i don't care it's the purchase and the trade-in yes right so the value of the the trucks acting now captures the current trade-in value to be applied towards yeah. the cost of the new trucks. To be applied toward the current cost, isn't it? Right. Something along those lines. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, my, my brain is slowing down. Oh, mine is long past slowed down. <laughs> yeah. We need to make this the last article for now. For I'm not sure you need the inflationary stuff. I don't know how other people feel, but that's, we're all too aware of it. Right. It's depressing. And it's also up to you, but um, the proposal for funding this is for 150,000 to come from water sewer retained earnings and the other 150,000 to come from um, the ARPA funds. That's important. ARPA is important. Because that disappears next year. Right. Yeah. How about we just say lock in well lock price you don't need to say what what barbara said about um price and trade in value right that was a nice shorthand i'm not quite sure what trade in value has to do with for the old trucks the value of the truck today is going to be higher than the value of the truck in a year yes so but we're not going to get the trucks no, but we're going to trade in the so we, we trade in the ones we have now. But we're not trying to trade them in until we get the new ones. Right, so that doesn't fit. How about that's lock in the current the current trade in value? Does that make sense? That, we don't know that that's true. I, I don't think I like to capture the current trade in value that Tony. I don't. I don't, I don't think it's true. <laughs> trade trade in value is. Are, oh, are when, they, when you're actually going to trade in, you got two years to do that. Yeah, are they going to give That's us cool. trade in value now for a truck we're not going to give up for two years? It doesn't make sense to me. You're right. Yeah, that that the trade in value is locked in. If really? Once you sign the contract, um, that's that's locked in. Oh, that's oh, crazy. That is interesting. Because then you can drive the thing into the ground, literally. <laughs> literally. Yeah, that looks good. We want to add ARPA. What was it? It's 150. From water to a retained earning. And ARPA. And isn't it 150 from ARPA? It's 150 from each. Let's be obvious. Mm -hmm. And do, do we want it? A A R. No, I think it's just A R P A. Yeah. Does everybody know what ARPA is? 
some people may hopefully be forgetting. I can't even remember myself. You can write, it's the American Rescue Plan Act. Yeah. I don't mean hopefully in any political sense. I just mean. Possibly we don't have to spell that out. We could just say COVID funds, COVID-19. Yes, yeah, that's funds. what I was thinking. I almost wanted to stay away from that. It just somehow this whole idea of funding drug dump trucks. Dump trucks with COVID yeah. funds doesn't make sense. I think that might cause a little bit of a. Yeah, I think the American Rescue Plan Act is what it's called, is what yeah. it is from ARPA. From that, the American Res Rescue Plan Act, paren, ARPA, federal funds, yep. Yep, that does it. I mean, I, you know, I, I, I think it's brilliant that we can do this, but it, it just seems- It's weird. It's weird. So we can. Um, I actually just of reported course. on this today to the feds. Um, we took the exemption for um, revenue loss. It, it's um, if you're receiving under $10 million in ARPA funds, you can take this exemption and it allows you to use the funds for any type of governmental services. So it's very wide encompassing. Um, and if you remember last year, we funded a portion of the fire truck with ARPA funds as well. Yep. I think I think we could do something with so acting now will lock in the um, current price or something today's price um, and and the trade in value we we don't care so much about the delivery date because isn't that implicit in the the almost two years stuff. Period. Now, you could even say to lock in today's uh, and today's trade in value or something. But I think you should put an in after the lock. Yeah. Lock in. Lock in. No hyphen. Not hyphenated. Yep. What does it not like about this? Well, you could simply say we'll lock in the current price and yes. trade value. Yeah, yeah. I think you need to just put current right there. That'll do it. <coughs> you might even want to say today's trade in value. Yep, that's fine too. Right. I know that we're talking about both because that's important. Yep, very. Yep. Okay. Are we happy with this? Yeah. <coughs> I'll make a motion that we accept this recommendation as written. I'll second. Bartlett? Aye. Beatty? Aye. Mackin? Aye. Sheehan? Aye. Vanderslice? Aye. Warren? Aye. 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 Army aye. That's unanimous. Okay, and that is as far as we can go tonight, because that's all we've got. Motion to adjourn. Um, public forum. Public forum. And then, here. Yeah, who's, who's, people. Who, who's left? We scared I think, everyone. I think, we, I think we wore them all out. <laughs> there, it says there's one in the chat. Is that something that we had pasted that's in here, Bob? Good. That was the uh, recommendation. Yeah, right. Allison. Okay. All right. So just quickly, procedurally. So we will meet next Tuesday. If everyone could finish up 
their recommendations, the ones we haven't gotten yet. Um, I will take a stab at the cover letter. And I think that's kind of what we've got. We still have to vote on the omnibus, but right. That should be recommendations to me. Yes, I'm going to send Bob, these to Bob. you. Yeah. So, Bob, uh, I might have missed this, but uh, so no meeting Thursday. No meeting Thursday. I yeah, I screwed up. I didn't get it okay. both. Tuesday. All right. T Tuesday right. and and Thursday of next week. And then then we're kind of done for a while. Yep. Hopefully. Okay. All right, so let me just get clarity. So the boilerplate language that Julie has isn't in there yet until we put it in there, right? For 16? I, I put in a lot of the boilerplate okay. responses already in the copy that I sent out to everybody. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll take what we've done tonight and I'll incorporate it into what I have um, and I will send that out to everybody. Okay. And Perfect. Julie, May I ask a favor? Yes. Can you somehow indicate the ones that we've already approved? Yes. Whether you just make them a di different color or whatever yes. you want to do. Probably better to, to do the ones we haven't approved. I think uh, we've approved more than we haven't. Or we might be halfway. We'll see. Yep. But you know, you know where I'm going. I do. Yep. Okay. Okay. So now. Dana, I think your motion is in order. Can I second my own motion? No, no. I'll, I'll, I'll second say, Dana's I'll... motion. <laughs> okay. Okay, Bartlett? Aye. Katie? Aye. Mackin? Aye. Sheehan? Aye. Sanderweiss? Aye. Warren? Aye. Laura? Judy? I I'm sorry, aye. Carmi, aye, unanimous. <laughs> what is it? Is that one never, never not oh. unanimous? <laughs> We're on a roll. Thank you guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.